अक्खा पब्लिक को मालूम है कौन आने वाला है तेरे को नहीं मालूम Good day guys, how are you all? I'm yours truly, the original Spikey D and this is Spikey Reacts 2. Today we'll be featuring two horror thrillers. I am a huge horror fan. I have always enjoyed them. I always enjoy a good scare. One of my favorite films of all time was The Exorcist and one of the more recent ones would have been The Conjuring from The Conjuring Universe although the others that came out thereafter wasn't as good as that film. So we will be reacting to Tumbad, which was released in 2018, and the other is Booth, which was released this year, 2020. Before I go any further, I would like to remind you that you can subscribe, you can share, you can like, and if you leave a comment, down below let's step into this first trailer it is the movie tombad sarkar mar gaya ab yahan kuch nahi bacha hum tumbad chhod rahe hain kyon vaada to apna hua na vaade mein jo khazana hai wo to apna hoga na get in charge huh? सरकार पूरी जिंदगी ढूंढता रहा कुछ नहीं मिला उसे और उस पुड़िया का क्या जाने के बारे में वो कुछ ना कुछ तो जरूर जानती होगी विरासत में मिली हुई हर चीज पर नहीं करना चाहिए इस को कोई और कर लेगा यही तो गुण मुझ में ये तो सिर्फ एक ही है वहाँ तो पूरा का पूरा खजाना छुपा हुआ है चल ला खजाना खाए ढूंढते हैं आई सोलह मैंने तो सिर्फ तुझे रखा है जब मैं बड़ा हो जाऊंगा तुझसे ब्याह करूंगा उम्र क्या है तेरी खजाने की बात करना भी अशुद्ध है शुरू भी नहीं हुआ है बाबा हम बाढ़ में क्या है वो देव वही सोजावर ना हस्तराज है नाम लेने से भी आता है क्या I think. First of all, two things. Did they not show that creature with that weird voice? And he sounds like Smeagol from Lord of the Rings. So that's one good thing that they didn't show the creature. So I guess you have to look at the film in order to see what the creature looks like. Two, it seems about greed. When last you saw a horror film dealing with greed? Usually it's about ghosts, it's about demons, it's about Ouija boards, which we have all seen before. So this scene fresh. Tumbad now apparently is a place, there's a mansion in Tumbad which family inherited. So I'm curious in how this will unfold and what they will do with this genre. It was presented in a mysterious fashion. Um, it seemed like a, a fable. It seemed like there is a myth, mythology. And I guess it piques my interest, I would say, enough that it would warrant a view to have an idea of 
how good this film is and strikingly enough um, I believe this film got at 87% on Rotten Tomatoes now for those of you who don't know that's a very high score if Rotten Tomatoes give a film a very high score especially in this genre it means it has to have something in this film that would have impressed the critics so let's just see what IMBD says so it says when a family builds a shrine for Hasta, a monster who is never to be worshipped and attempts to get their hands on his cursed wealth, they face catastrophic consequences. I think I'll give this a shot and see if it gets me scared. As I said earlier on, we will be doing two trailers from the genre of horror films coming out of India. So the second film we're going to look at is a boot starring Vicky Kushal. I'm very interested in what Vicky would bring to this movie because I've seen Vicky in Razi where he was a Pakistani soldier who married an Indian spy and although Ali Abad was outstanding in that film he did a great job in that film which was very very entertaining it was so gripping and so intense and I also saw him in Yuri the surgical strike so I'm interested in to see what he will bring to this genre. Vicky Kushal is the kind of actor that reminds me of Raj Kumar Rao, who is also a solid performer in Indian cinema. So I'm really looking forward to see what this is about. Let's check it out and see what Boot has to offer. Booth mean ghost, right? Booth. Dharma Productions, Zeus Studios. Silence. That's good, I like that. <coughs> okay. They're gonna give you a jump scare, right? <laughs> yes. My name is Prithvi. I'm the Seabird Ship Surveying Officer. Do you know if there's a record of the Seabird? There are a lot of stories about the Seabird. The Seabird is haunted. The Seabird is haunted. The haunted ship. Is it like the ship? There was a girl on the ship. जिसे तुम देख रहे हो, ये तुम्हारा हेलिसिनेशन नहीं है, बल्कि एक बुरा सा है। शिप पर क्या हुआ था? जॉब्स के आगे। Now why would he take a girl in a ship? That's three jump scares. Stop overdoing it. Four jump scares. Stop overdoing it, people. This fair here. When a trailer tries to scare you too much, there's two things. Either the script is poor and they are selling the jump scare in order to get you to the theaters. Secondly, Vicky is in the trailer a lot so it means that you are really using him to pull the audience in because he's such a good actor that you're hoping that his stardom and will draw an attraction to the box office. Um, films of story-wise, 
I kind of have doubts about this. You know, The Conjuring 1 was such a good film and the reason for that, it didn't depend on jump scares to scare you. It was the scenery, it was the build up to the, the, the scare. In this trailer, we got about four. However, in terms of the trailer, very dark trailer, there is a ship, the ship is haunted, and it seems like there are some silly people in this film also, because why would you take a girl on a deserted ship? That doesn't make sense. So you're dumb, and if things happen to you, you'll look for it. In terms of the visuals, it looked good. It didn't look like cheap, and the special effects look well done in terms of the background. Um, ghost figure that we are seeing it was featured a number of times in the trailer So did they already give out all in the trailer? Is there more to see and if there's more to see that is there more jump scares that beginning shot when you open the uh, Ship to enter that was such a, a good scene a good shot So I guess there would be some background story of the ship and why it ended up there I guess let's hope that the script is good because if it's not good it just win with the time However, I just want to read IMBD just to get a greater understanding of what we saw. A bereaved shipping officer, bereaved, so that means what he lost his family. Officer must save a girl he believes is real on a stranded, unmanned, haunted ship, Seabird. So there it is. So he's investigating this ship. He's assuming that there is someone still alive on the ship and the ship happens to be haunted. He's a bereaved gentleman, so he will be toting baggage in the show. And so, would I watch it? Sure, because I love to be scared and I love this genre of films, so maybe I'll just give it a go and hopefully I'm wrong about it. So guys, thank you again for sticking around to the end. As I said earlier on, you can like, you can subscribe and you can leave a comment and you could even make a request. Thank you all for watching. I hope wherever you are, you're having a great day and as always, peace out.